I've used computers before, but never like this. Your imagination is your only limit. That's it. Anything you can think of, you can do. It just opens up your mind to maybe what I could be doing whenever I get out of this place. The idea here is about taking a computer and turning it from something that's a passive end user device to actually getting a certain amount of skills whereby you can use that computer as a device for you to create on. I made that for my wee lad. The oldest wee lad's ten and the other one's five. I had to get one to get the other one, so I'm trying to get the, keep it to them happy. We know through experience of delivery over the last number of years that Fab Lab has delivered really engaging educational opportunities for young people who have been difficult to engage before. As far as we're aware, none of the thousand fab labs around the world has been actively working in prisons and we were keen to try and get a project off the ground here. We've got people from a range of backgrounds with a range of skills that are coming together and they're really finding that by making things, by actually creating things, they're inspired to learn those digital skills because they've got something at the end of it that they can take, that they own. Everybody's heard about 3D printing guns, weapons and in a prison environment, we're all about security. We had John and his team come down and give us a presentation and that allowed us to assess the potential risks. What we felt was that the risk could be managed in the right environment. So if you click on the boat, you'll see it gives you these options. So scale will allow us to see the size. Print support, so that, that will support any areas of the boat that, that need support. So we'll give it two and a half hours and we'll come back in. We'll be here for a long time anyway coming into a very strong custodial environment like McGabry can be a bit of a shock for the system and the art therapy courses I do and also this one for employment skills just gives them the opportunity for a chance of normality even if it's just for a few hours a week working on some kind of creative process gives them the opportunity then when they go back to their cells to reflect on the experience and hopefully be of like mind that they want to carry on and do something a bit more productive um, than return into a life of crime. These are tobacco boxes right so we make these enjoiners for the keeper tobacco in. So people would do drawings on them, stickers on them, but nobody has the laser cut on them. When I get out of here, I'll be going to Fab Lab and Eisen Centre, definitely, 100%, 100%. I'll be going to learn more about this and try and get a degree in it or do something about it because it's the way forward. From 20 minutes into the programme, whenever they saw what could be done, they fell in love with it. The guys have been taking some of the, the, the small things they've made back on the lands, and the other guys are going, how did I get on that course? That product that they make is something that potentially can be sold or something that can go home and be a gift for a family and hopefully prepare them for that transition into life outside of the prison. That's for a mate of mine down in the house. Hopefully I'll not be here this long, you know, so they'll be going away present. It's learning a new thing on the computer. Yeah, it's up to date. It's, it's in the 21st century. If we're not there, we're left behind. <laughs> if I can rehabilitate one person, if I can make one person on that course go on the outside once they've completed their sentence and not re-offend, then I would consider that's money well spent. It is about thinking what work is right there for individuals, what's the training need for them and what's the education need. And this is an opportunity to bring something new and innovative into the prison service. Well usually there's a lot of messing around in this place to be honest, but it seems that everybody here is committed to learn. Uh, I think because it is so enjoyable, these guys let your imagination run wild. Every single one of the students here from the first day has completed all the tasks, has made all of the things and has gone on to do more than they actually be required to do to get the qualification. There are a thousand fab labs around the world and the practice that we're innovating and developing here in McGabry we think can be rolled out potentially um, across the globe so that in prisons all over the world that the programme that began here in Northern Ireland can change people's lives. Mm -hmm.